subscribe. Click on the bell. Like, comment, share. The Symbol of Elements These are some of the elements from the periodic table. The total number of elements in periodic table is 118. What will happen if the names of the elements are written in full like what you have seen on the screen? Do you have any suggestion on how to avoid from writing down the names of the elements? In the actual periodic table, the elements are written in symbols. In this lesson, you will learn about proton number. Do you know what is the definition of proton number? First, let us look at this example. This is the structure of an atom for element X. Can you count how many protons element X has? Excellent! How about this? Can you count how many protons element Y has? Excellent! Element Y has 6 protons. Now, let us complete this table below. Based on the atomic structure given, key in the correct number. Proton number can be defined as the number of protons in the nucleus of an atom. Now, let us proceed with nucleon number. Do you have any idea what nucleon number is? Look at the table shown on the screen. Now, look at the first three elements which are hydrogen, helium and lithium. Hydrogen has a proton number of 1 and no neutron. With that, hydrogen has a nucleon number of 1. Meanwhile, helium has a proton number of 2 and 2 neutrons. With that, helium has a nucleon number of 4. Same goes with lithium. Based on the example, can you complete the table? Now you have completed the table. Can you define what nucleon number is? Nucleon number is the total of number of protons and neutrons in the nucleus. What is the relationship between proton number and nucleon number? Based on the table below, what is the relationship between the proton number and the elements? From the table, we know that each element has a different proton number. Each successive element has one more proton. Do you think this periodic table looks better when all the elements are written in symbols? Let us focus on the first 20 elements of the periodic table. From the 20 elements listed, some of them are represented by a symbol made up of two letters while the rest are made up of one letter. One letter symbols some elements are represented by one-letter symbols. The letter is derived from the first letter in the name of the element. The letter is always written in capital. Examples are hydrogen, carbon, nitrogen and oxygen. Two-letter symbols. Now, let us look at another elements which are represented by two-letter symbols. The two letter symbols are often the first and second letters. The first letter is always written in capital letter. The examples are helium, magnesium and aluminium. Standard representation of an atom. This is the standard representation of an atom. X represents the chemical symbol. A represents the nucleon number. 
Z represents the proton number. Standard representation of hydrogen. Let's take hydrogen as an example. The proton number and nucleon number of hydrogen is 1. The standard representation of calcium. Now let's look at another example, calcium. The proton number of calcium is 20 and the nucleon number is 40. What can you obtain from a standard representation of an atom? A chemical symbol can give you a lot of information such as the name of the element, the nucleon number, the proton number, number of electrons, number of neutrons. Let's take a look at the standard representation of calcium. The number of proton is 20. The number of electron is 20. The number of neutron is equal to nucleon minus proton, which means 40 minus 20 equals 20. From the chemical symbol, it is known that calcium has 20 protons, 20 electrons and 20 neutrons. Writing a symbol. Three things that you must have before writing a symbol are the chemical symbol of the element, the nucleon number and the proton number. You may write a symbol straight away if information given to you is direct and straightforward. But sometimes element nucleon number and proton number are not directly given. You may need to do some calculations from what is given before you can write the symbol. Click on the boxes to know more about them. Writing the symbol with direct information given. Let's say you are given cobalt as the element, 59 as the nucleon number, and 27 as the proton number. How do you write the symbol for this element? Writing the symbol with direct Writing the symbol with indirect information given. In this example, you are not given the proton number and nucleon number. Therefore, you must use whatever information you have to derive the proton number and nucleon number or you will not be able to write the symbol. Electronic structure of an atom We live in a world made up of different compounds. The oxygen that we breathe, the water that we drink, and the rock that we step on. These are all compounds. All of these are made up of basic particles called atom. Water, for example. Water molecules are made up of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. From the previous lesson, you already know what an atom is. But do you know what an atom is made up of? Atomic structure An atom is made up of three smaller particles. The three subatomic particles are proton, neutron and electron. Protons and neutrons are tightly packed together in the centre of the atom called nucleus. The size of the nucleus is very small compared to the overall size of the atom. Electrons move around the nucleus just like planets orbiting the Sun. Atomic Structure Around the nucleus are the atomic orbits or shells. Shells are numbered starting from the one closest to the nucleus. Like so, Shell number 1, shell number 2, shell number 3, shell number 4, and so on. Electrons are arranged in these shells. Each shell can only allow a limited number of electrons. Shell number 1 can only allow 2 electrons. When the shell is full, electrons will move on to the next shell. Shell 2 can allow up to 8 electrons. 
When you further learn about elements with more than 18 electrons, you will find out that shell number 3 can hold more than 8 electrons. Shell number 4 can hold more than 8 electrons. Look at how the electrons are arranged. This table shows the atomic structure of the first 20 elements in the periodic table. Let's look at how electrons are arranged in an atom. Electrons will start to occupy the shells closest to the nucleus. Electrons will then occupy a new shell only after the previous one are fully occupied. Electrons occupying the outermost shell are known as valence electron. Now, how do we draw electronic structure of an element? We'll take carbon as an example. Are you ready? Let's begin. First, draw the nucleus of an atom with one shell surrounding it. We can identify the number of electrons based on proton number of the element. In this case, the proton number for carbon is 6. This means there are 6 electrons you need to fill in the atomic shell. Start filling the electron in the first shell. First shell can only occupy 2 electrons. Draw another shell for the remaining 4 electrons. Arrange the 4 electrons in the second shell. Second shell can take up to 8 electrons. So, we don't have to draw the third shell. Lastly, write the electronic arrangement. Write the number of electrons in the first shell. Dot, followed by the number of electrons in the second shell. Now, we have a complete electronic structure of an atom. Why don't you try to identify the electronic structure of an element? We'll take lithium as an example. The proton number for lithium is 3. This means lithium has 3 electrons. Now where shall you put the electrons? The shell number 1 can only hold 2 electrons. Drag and drop 2 electrons to shell number 1. Now there is only 1 electron remaining. Do you know where to place it? You need to place the electron in shell number 2. Now, we have the electron's arrangement of lithium. We can write its electronic arrangement, which is 2.1. 2 represents electrons in shell number 1, while 1 represents the number of electrons in shell number 2. Shell number 1 can only hold 2 electrons. Drag and drop 2 electrons to shell number 1. Shell number 2 can hold up to 8 electrons. Drag and drop 8 electrons to shell number 2. Now there are 2 electrons left. I believe you know where to place it. Drag and drop the remaining electrons to shell number 3. We have the electrons arrangement of magnesium. The electronic arrangement is 2.8.2. .2. 2 represents electrons in shell number 1. 8 represents the number of electrons in shell number 2. And the number 2 represents the number of electrons in shell number 3. Let's summarize our lesson. The electronic structure of an atom is defined as arrangement of electrons in shells around the nucleus. Atoms with proton number 1 to 20 are most stable with 2 electrons in shell number 1, 8 electrons in shell number 2, 3 and 4. Valence electrons are the electrons in the outer most occupied shell. Proton number is the number of protons in the nucleus of an atom. Nucleon number is the total number of protons and neutrons in the nucleus. 
Each element has a different proton number. Each successive element has one more proton. Click on the blinking button to proceed. All elements are represented by symbols. All elements are represented by one or two letters symbol. It's the standard representation of an atom. X represents the chemical symbols. Z represents the proton number and A represents the nucleon number. From the standard representation, we can construct the atomic structure and vice versa. Click on the blinking button to proceed. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon.